Okay, now this video is going to be kind of crappy, or just a shitty video, let's just say it, because I can still barely talk, but I think you can hear me well enough. Uh, I was going to wait till my voice came back before I did a video on this product, but I can't wait anymore. I want to get this on my gun. Now, in the past, I've tried Enforce lights, and I've tried stream force, uh, stream light lights, but I've never tried the Viridian, and I wanted to try the Viridian on my carry gun, my SIG P229, for one uh, very specific reason, because of this here, the Tac Lock holster. This is the holster that once you put the Viridian light on your gun, this is a retention holster that turns the light off when you put it in it, turns the light on when you pull it out. So I wanted to see how well this holster worked and how well the Viridian lights work. Uh, originally, I didn't think they were very good, uh, but then I tried one recently, a newer one, and it seemed like it was a lot better than they used to be. It was definitely better built than they used to be. So I want to put that one on my uh, Sig P229 and see how I like it. So let's go ahead and get this out of the box and get it on my carry gun. Now this here is actually pretty cute. They make the little case that the tools and the batteries are in look like the end of a Glock. So you actually get to see what this looks like mounted while it's still in the box. But I've got taste, so I'm not putting it on a Glock. I'm going to put it on a SIG. So let's get it off here and get it on the SIG. I'm assuming this screw here is what does it. Heaven forbid I actually read the directions. Yep, that appears to be it. Now the question is, will it fit the SIG rail? <laughs> it comes with a holster that goes with the SIG, so I would hope it would fit the SIG rail. Okay, we got the light on there, and it works. I got it in strobe mode right now. So let's get the holster out, see if it works. Now this comes set up as a paddle holster, but if you look at the little uh, pattern in the back here for the screws, these work with any Serpa accessories too. So if you have like the belt slide or something from a Serpa and you want to put on here, works on here just fine. But I've really started to like the paddle holsters, so I'm going to leave it a paddle holster. Okay, now let's see if it actually works. I got the gun with the strobe light on here. Let's put it in the holster and see if it goes off. Yep, and it did. And let's see if we draw it. Yep, it comes on, so it works. Now, it's not the easiest to holster right now, but I see the problem. If you look in there very closely, let me turn this light off. I don't know if you can see up in there or not, but there's scratches along the top. It's because the very high sight right here in the front is digging into the plastic that eventually scratches that all away and it fits perfectly. I had the same problem with my Serpa and my Hogue holsters. So this looks pretty promising. So I'm going to carry this for a little while and then I'll let you all know what I think. But I like the looks of the holster. I like the style of it. I like the fact that it's a paddle holster. And I like the fact that it does work with my RMR. And I like that I have a light that now comes on when I draw my gun. But like I said, I'll have to wear this for a little while. See how I like it. See if the laser holds up. Uh, or actually, not the laser. This is a light. I didn't get the one with the laser. You can actually get the one with the laser for only $20 more. But since I have a red dot sight, I didn't really want a laser. Uh, so I just got the light with the strobe effect. You could choose whichever one you would prefer to have. But like I say, I'll give it a test here for a while, uh, see how it works out for me, and then I'll let you all know. I'll do a little bit more comprehensive a review, but for now, I have high hopes for it. Uh, so let's hope that pretty soon this will work out for me and my voice will come back so I can actually tell you about it.